I've got here uh, three years worth of meetings that we've had uh, paperwork, uh, th three years worth of uh, bullshit, um, and then they wanted to have another meeting. So, you know, when do you get tired of having meetings? And, you know, we can't build anything. It's like, don't you get frustrated after a while? I'm sure you do. It's something. <laughs> Guy beeps his horn at you. Do you, you know, just let him beep, or do you get out of your car and ask him what his problem is? <laughs> And you can't do that with the city, so you just go on to a different city, and maybe you, you go on to a different city, and everybody's happy, and you're, you can only provide a certain number of apartments for people, and maybe you can provide them where they want you. Um, what was the, uh, revisit some question, what was the final straw in your decision to send out that email I quit? Just having another meeting and paying for it this morning. You got that notice from the city that it was... Yeah, they needed another hearing, and uh, another 1600 bucks and... Uh, add that to the three hundred thousand we've already paid, and said, "That's enough." That was the last straw. I I think that that was yeah. I came in in a bad mood this morning. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you were saying too that the city has done <clears throat> nothing wrong. I don't think the city did anything. I don't think anybody in the city did anything that they were not supposed to do. But. That doesn't really um, make it right. They work within the rules that they had. But I think as if the city is a business, and we run businesses, and the businesses that we run, if something's not working, you change it. It takes too long for the city to change something if they change it at all. And that's, that's really the problem. That didn't happen in Manatee County, did it? The impact fees were waived almost. Uh, yeah, Manatee County was very accommodating. They did whatever they thought they could do. Uh, they told us up front what it was. We didn't have to have 25 meetings. And uh, they, they got it done so that we were able to build affordable housing in Manatee County, just as we could in uh, Kissimmee or Orlando. Uh, they realized that they have needs there and in, in those places and they said go build these things We'll figure out how to cover your ass in the background <laughs> You had mentioned that, that it was a, the Kissimmee School Board gave you $50,000 to as a grant for a grant for 24 families that are have kids going to their school that needed a, a Place to live that didn't have a permanent residence, but the families are working and just don't have enough money for a security deposit on an apartment. You mentioned the drawing <clears throat> of that little girl. Well, we had a, a little girl that was interviewed. Uh, she has an apartment with us now in um, Manatee County. And when she was going to school, she, in, in the second grade, or I think it's the first or second grade, she was asked to make a picture of her, um, of her home and she drew a picture of a little blue car and said she lives in the back seat. <laughs> so that's a pretty pretty bad way to operate if you have, uh, you know, such an affluent community that you have to have uh, people live in their cars. And it's two little girls and their mom living in a car. But we've had other people uh, come into, you know, into our apartments or into our uh, converted apartments where they were motels and we had one young lady um, who was you know, she a nice young lady she came in with two little kids and she wanted to sell one of them because she didn't have any food and you know this is America how does that happen you know and and we you know we have food banks in most of our places and we obviously gave her some food got her a job and and, you know, it's just, you can change people's attitudes so much by, you know, making them part of society or just giving them a roof over their head they, and some food. It's just such a, a different world. Uh, you know, it's hard to imagine that there's people that have that problem. We had one uh, young fellow that, uh, when I say young fellow, he was in his uh, 30s. And we denied him an apartment because of his record. He came to me and he said that... Uh, he, he was now married and he had um, a child and he needed a place to live and he was 
he did have problems in the past. And when I looked at his record, he had 44 arrests. And I said, look, he got 44 arrests, you know. And he said, no, some of them are duplicates. <laughs> we gave him a chance, and we gave him an apartment. And, um, you know, he, uh, he eventually, uh, within a couple of months, he, uh, he got a two-bedroom apartment, and he's got a job, and he's part of society. He's, um, he's a tax-paying citizen of the United States, and, you know, he's getting his life together. And, you know, without that, you know, he would be on the street, um, probably stealing cars or stealing from the 7-Eleven or, or be back in jail, and what would his family be? So, you know, we have uh, uh, a lot of lives that, you know, really are changed by what we do. And we've had um, 19 of our tenants that came from zero became millionaires in the last 25 years. And, you know, if you count money as your scorecard, that's that's a win. Two of them lost it, but 19 of them actually got to where they were millionaires. And that's because we provide mentors to uh, to some of our tenants if they request it or if they need help. And uh, you know we have a lot of rich people here in uh, Sarasota, Manatee County that uh, have nothing to do, and they'd be glad to mentor people, and that's what they do. So you know it's a it's a good mix that we. We have, and um, you know, I'm sort of happy that we do that. So, amen. <laughs>